So we want to consider a uh, region A inside this uh, group part. And we want to calculate this uh, entropy uh, of this region A. So according to the uh, so-called RT formula, the only last uh, one is proportional to the area of the minimum surface. And the minimum surface, uh, epsilon A, S, is just uh, uh, this part. So the minimum surface uh, is uh, uh, the definition of that. The minimum surface, uh, the definition is uh, coming from the RA. RA we call as uh, entanglement reach. That's uh, a region uh, inside this minimum surface and also uh, has a boundary of A. So and this, this minimum surface has a constraint called a homology constraint. That means the, the, the surface, x of A, should be have the same homology uh, tag with this A. Okay. So that's without, uh, that's an original uh, proposal for this uh, holographic entanglement should be. But right now we have the boundary Q. So our minimum surface can extend it to the boundary Q. So like, like that. It's not only like this uh, small uh, region. We can like, extend it to the so in our, uh, with this boundary, we can have, uh, in, the, in the definition of this uh, minimum surface, the surface has a boundary on the conformal uh, boundary is the DA, but uh, on the Q, we have another boundary, is QA. So this minimum surface can have another boundary on, 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 the, on this uh, hypersurface Q. And the RA is the type of weight, actually, is right now is something like this, uh, the, the, the part of the sausage uh, region inside that. With that's with the three boundaries. One is this A, another one is QA, and also the minimum surface X of A. So, so those surfaces uh, uh, give you the, the, the <coughs> entanglement uh, which, and also you should be satisfied with the homology constraint. So you have to have the, that means that the QA and the A should have the same the, uh, homology type. Okay. So then, in this uh, uh, AS3 example, so we can have a, a solution of that. That's actually Dr. Uh, Zhu Miao and we have a paper which describes that. And the solution is now this, uh, this one. So, so basically, that's, it is, that's the z direction, that's the x direction, and this uh, just gives you a, a strip line on this two dimension uh, plane. And this row is behavior like the angle. So if I for different oh, for different row, it's just uh, this 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 why I have a different angle. So particularly for row to zero, it's just a uh, uh, vertical uh, line. Like that. And the term actually can be uh, studied in this uh, system. And uh, for but 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 because this, we have the boundary, so we have the boundary in fact. So normally, if there's a D greater than the DC, that means this uh, region A is very far away from it, this uh, boundary, then the boundary effect can be ignored, and we just get the uh, original one. It's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, we're familiar with that one. But when this uh, D is uh, less than the DC critical distance, that boundary has some effect in, in, inside it. So the minimum surface is not this uh, blue line anymore, but the, it's open up to connect to the boundary and give this uh, red line. So, so the right now the minimum surface is just this, it's a two of these right lines. So we can calculate that and get this uh, entanglement entropy. So it's a little bit of a complicated one, but uh, still um, technical. So that's uh, for this AS3, we have this, this one. And we, yeah, we want to extend that to the to the high uh, mention for the AS at D plus two. And uh, in this case, we only want to cast a view what we want, we don't want to, to study the more uh, complicated solution of all this boundary uh, material theory. What we want is to study the boundary effect for the type of entropy. So we just uh, choose a very simple solution. So the simple solution is just uh, this, uh, this uh, vertical solution one. This something like the row to zero in the period. Uh, so in ADS2, we have this uh, metric, and uh, oh, we call the ADS B plus, B plus 2, because the bar mentioned. And we want with the boundary as D plus two, D plus one dimensions. So, and uh, so measure like that. So the eight device, so, so, so this boundary has the metric, we just uh, take this x y into the constant. So it's going to constant, it's just uh, a straight line, that's our boundary. 
So the metric in this boundary is just the, the AST is one. And the calculate is uh, uh, characters and uh, strictly characters and uh, something. And uh, you plug in this remote and the boundary condition for that so just uh, satisfies everything. So that's the solution of this uh, uh, boundary component. Then we can calculate the uh, uh, impact of entropy, right? Consider is the minimum surface in that one. So right now the minimum surface is just if you consider the range, the A is just uh, a range between this uh, minus halfway and halfway. So that's our A. So the minimum surface is just the blue line. If you don't consider the boundary, so here is the you can calculate the you can solve this if you want it, and uh, solve the shape of this uh, blue line and uh, that's the result is here. So the A is dependent on this Z. Z0 is uh, how, how far is the uh, minimum surface getting into the bulk. And the A is dependent on the Z0. And also the uh, minimum entropy is dependent on this A, the minimum size of this, uh, this region. So it's, uh, it's in this way. So that's the uh, uh, expected uh, structure. So the first term is divergent, we know that. And, that, uh, and that's the uh, Perpendicular to this uh, area of this boundary, so that's the uh, exactly, and this one is the final part, so that's the give you the 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 what this uh, M H P is. Okay, so if we have boundary, then things are a little bit complicated. So so that's depend on this uh, uh, position of this region and also the size of the region, right? So if the size is very small. You can still ignore this boundary effect. So that means it's very far away from the boundary, and uh, you can still ignore that. So the minimum surface is just this one. And this is uh, in terms of wage, this is the red part, and it's just a uh, half circle. So yeah, we call that the uh, sun side face. And if this size of A is very large, so and uh, the age of the size is very uh, close to the boundary. So this uh, minimum surface is not this anymore, but the minimum surface is uh, go along another way to connect to the boundary. So we have this one. And uh, in this case, the integral bridge is just uh, the whole blue region, uh, exactly these two columns. So we call this uh, uh, like a sky uh, face. And if this uh, region is very close to one boundary, then these two the minimum surface will bend to, to one boundary, something like that. It will bend to this one boundary and uh, connect, it, connect it with the boundary like that. And the minimum surface is, is just uh, this two part, and the entanglement wave is this green part inside that. So we call this uh, some, some rainbow phase. And uh, this sky phase and rainbow phase is due to the boundary effect. Right? But this one is just something like that. But so that's, that's mean right now, if we have the boundary, uh, two, two, two new phases come out. And you can calculate this. Uh, we calculate this uh, number HP. So the for some side, it's just the only the one. But the sky phase and the rainbow phase, we need to, because uh, we have a different uh, uh, minimum surface, we have to rearrange these uh, uh, things to get this uh, sky. <laughs> OK, so since these two, these three phases depend on this uh, size of this. Uh, Region and the position of the region, so we can write down, uh, calculate that, and uh, to draw this phase diagram in this case too, this one. And we we know that for this, so this was A, the size of the, the region. So, so A is very very small, we're always in this outside. And for A is very large, we're always in the sky. And between them, we have this this, this rainbow. So the rainbow is means uh, for the medium A, but it's very close to this axis or minus axis. So very close to the boundaries of the rainbow. So all together we have this this like that. And that's for the QADS case. So next we will introduce the, the temperature, because temperature is very important for the uh, system. And if you want to, uh, in the holographic correspondence, so you introduce the temperature, we need to, in the box, we have the, we include a black hole inside. So that means we have even, even already in our box, and this boundary Q, can be intersected with its interhorizon with some uh, region. And uh, similarly, the action is due to some of the different objects. And uh, as it looks like a similar. But, uh, and if you want to introduce the uh, entanglement in this case, 
uh, but we have the uh, event horizon. It's, a, it's, it's quite similar, but uh, if you think about that, if this one, uh, this queue can be can be included in the event horizon, I didn't draw that picture, but, uh, but uh, in this case, because the hair is cut off here, so this QA, when this, when this QA is uh, moving up, so uh, has some uh, uh, contact with the uh, event horizon, there are some interesting uh, uh, will happen, so it's opened up to include in the whole uh, event horizon. But anyway, the, the definition uh, is uh, similar to the to, to, to pure ES one. Okay. Right now we have even more. So, then we can try to solve a solution in this uh, protocol. But uh, with the protocol, the solution for the quantum filter, uh, boundary quantum filter is extremely hard. So we also use a very simple solution for that. So we start from the, the uh, equals two was ADS protocol, which is a uh, breaking factor GS that. And we just like the SYP constant. So it's a nice pure ADS case, case. And we have a good constant, and we got the uh, uh, matrix to the Q. And we can calculate these uh, uh, characters and the character constant, and we can still uh, uh, verify that it's just the satisfies as the promotion and everything. So that's the solution of this one uh, with the protocol. Okay, so with bright hole, it's it here, so we still can calculate the minimum surface of the bright hole in this way. But with the ZH here, we have some uh, jump here is different from the QADS. So we can calculate that, and we found that A is, uh, we can express A as an integral. It cannot, uh, uh, we don't have a compact uh, good performer like the QADS, but here is just an uh, integral. And with B, it's just a ratio of the Z0 and the ZH. So we say you can have a different Z0, and that's uh, that's the parameter for this uh, A. So you can use the H, Z0, then you can uh, calculate this A. So that's the, the size of this region, it depends on the Z0. And also you can calculate the time entropy, it depends on the A, the size of the region. And in this case also we have the uh, similar structure, the first one is the working part, and it's uh, expected. And this second part is, uh, this part that is almost the same form as the, uh, you can like, uh, like QADS case, and here's a, uh, more terms comes out, more integral comes out, because uh, it's a break hole. This uh, integral part, don't you? You mean only this one, never? Oh, that one? This one? You say, a degree of one, they say, not original. A degree of one? Yeah. Okay, we, we, need, we cannot pick degree of one, because. Uh, because uh, we, we, we. We? This is integral over V, V, V. So V is a... Uh, is a pole in the denominator. You know, yeah, okay. V1 is not a version, actually. You can carry that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It looks like a version, but in terms of that, it's not. Okay, so right now we have more phases on top. Because in this case, uh, if we... Uh, so for the three, it's similar, but we have a uh, horizon here, right? So for the first one, let's see. Uh, if this uh, region A is very smaller, very small, so we don't have the uh, effect from the boundary, and the similar, so uh, in terms of weight, just this uh, red part, just some side. But for the scan one, we include not only this uh, two boundary, but we also include this uh, whole horizon. Because horizon is here. In the pure ADS case, we don't have that. But here we have the horizon. So the boundary is actually this uh, the minimum surface, just uh, this, this two part is the horizon. So that means this horizon is just proportional to the thermal entropy coming from the right. So the, the right now you calculate the, the whole uh, uh, type of entropy, including the part of the thermal entropy, and, uh, and another part is called cosmic So this one. And for the rainbow way, you have this one. And in this case, the interesting part is that if you calculate the, the AC, the complementary part of this A, we got a different result. Because if the QAS, if you if you calculate the, the, the information to A and AC, it should be the same. Right? It, it, it calculate the complement. But if we have the uh, bright hole, we have the HP, and then because it's the uh, effect coming from the horizon, so that, so that is different. So if you calculate the AC, like if you want to calculate the AC, and uh, the entanglement weight is just this, uh, the red part. And it's not including only including this uh, uh, minimum surface. Also include this uh, horizon. 
So we call that uh, some reverse sum set, because it's just uh, in the reverse part of the sum set. And the same as this sky and rainbow case. So in this case, the, the, for this AC part, and the, the entire wave just is two blue one. In this case, we don't have the correlation. And here, in the rainbow case, and the entire wave is this two, two part, two separate part. But in this part, we improve the uh, horizon. So that gives us the, the entanglement for A is different from the entanglement for the AC. And the difference is just the, 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 the horizon. Right? So, so the difference between these two is just this one. So this one is just the universal of that. So this one is the universal of that, including the horizon. Including the horizon. And here is, is the sky part is including the horizon, and here is a reverse ripple part, including the horizon. So it's uh, so here the difference between between these two is still is still just for the ripple uh, horizon. But the thing is not so simple. It's not just a uh, can conclude that for anything else, for the A and A C is just different for the uh, vertical F D. Uh, okay, here is just a formula how to calculate that for the A and for the A C. Some geometry. Uh, so, okay. okay, so the point is that if we really calculate A and AC, we can find that we can, we can write down this phase that one. And this has three phases it's the sky, uh, sunset, and rainbow. And here is the reverse sky, reverse sunset, sunset, and reverse rainbow. But the, the phase diagram in, for A and AC is different. So that's the, that's the uh, process. We know that for this two blue one, they, the difference between the two blue one is just the uh, uh, vertical entropy. And with this two red one, it's also the vertical entropy, and the same as this two green one. But since they don't have the same boundary, so for example, at, at this point, uh, so here is in the red one, but here is in the, in the, in the blue one. So in some cases, the, the, the difference between them is, uh, is not exactly the vertical entropy. So we can. Then we calculate for the different temperature, and we found that for Z is small, that means higher temperature, and for Z large, it is more temperature. And this uh, phase diagram for A and AC is changing, and we find that for the low temperature, it's getting uh, more and more uh, similar. Yeah. So it's getting more and more similar for the low temperature. And we know that that's, uh, that's uh, consistent with the uh, fact that for the low temperature, it's uh, Right hole solution is uh, goes to this uh, uh, pure gas because for low temperature the horizon effect will the horizon will go very small and uh, we, almost we don't have this uh, we can know this uh, horizon effect so let's go back to the pure ADF case so in the pure ADF case we know that for A and A it to be like the same so this this is two phase error exactly the same because A and A uh, time entropy for A is equal to the time entropy. But for the high temperature, if we have the finite temperature, that's different. So we have to be Then we want to study this. What's the really difference between the temperature A and the temperature AC? So we pick, a, uh, pick some temperature. And we can, right? we can draw this uh, uh, diagram. And this diagram is that uh, we combine these uh, two diagrams, so A and AC. So in this diagram, we have uh, different zooms. And, uh, for for zoom one, that means uh, A and AC both in this uh, uh, some side and reverse some side. So in this part, the difference between this uh, interval entropy is just exactly this uh, right hole. So that means this part, if you calculate this difference between the uh, entropy of A and entropy of AC, that's exactly to the to zero. And uh, also, the zoom two. And the zoom, uh, I think that's it. it's fine. It's, that's the difference between this A and A, AC. It's just uh, exactly the thermal entropy. So, all right. And the other part, like the zoom 3 to 5, they, 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 they are different. There is combined with the, because in this part, it, it, in A, it's, uh, it belongs to the sky. But in the AC is belong to the reverse uh, sun side. So that's in different part. So that's the, 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 the difference between these two. It's not exactly the 
zero or it's not exactly the, the uh, right launch key. So we can choose for different passes, we can write out this different of this S E and uh, A minus S E A C. So we can so the result is it is put in here. So for this one, x equals zero, zero that means at the very center, we put this region at the center of the of this uh, uh, space time and we change in A from zero to the to the one. We found that at the, at the beginning just zero, it is still is the same. But uh, when when that change for this uh, uh, zoom three, they start from increasing from zero to the bright hole entropy. And then this part is just bright hole entropy. So it looks like that. And this uh, is called this entanglement uh, uh, principle. So. And for the other part, if we if go this way, and this way we start from this, this one is still zero, but uh, here, and here, here is uh, increase. But uh, when this goes going to the zoom, uh, zoom 4, it, uh, it still increase, but with different uh, uh, speed to, to increase, so we have a disconnected way. And uh, until we go to the blue region, it goes to red, because here it's just uh, uh, equal to the bright color entropy. And uh, if we go this way, that means we still go through this uh, red one and uh, this uh, zoom 3, and but we stop here. It doesn't go to this one. So, so in this way, it just uh, goes here, here, and stop here. It cannot go up to this one because uh, at, uh, it's very close to the boundary. And actually, to do this part, it cannot go through the, the, the uh, static space. And if you go further here, and then we go stop here, and if you go to here, it's just uh, uh, zero. It doesn't go up. For these two, two zoom is just uh, subtract is at zero. And uh, this is. Uh, Especially calculation showed us that this uh, this one is always between zero and the bright hole entropy, and that's actually the, the verified is Eric uh, in inequality. Okay, so to to look at that more clearly, we uh, draw this three-dimensional uh, phase diagram. That. So here is the axis in this way and in that way, and we give you this uh, new HB. For, for different uh, uh, part in, in, in the C direction. So we can see that that's, uh, that, that's the so-called uh, uh, 3D entanglement plan too, like that, that plan here. And uh, this uh, different lines, different paths we followed in the previous page. And the first page is just, just like, like that, and the second page. And, 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 this, and this line is just a uh, three line with zero. So that's the uh, uh, so whole effective. Okay, almost, almost finished. Yeah, so that's it. That's it. Okay, so, yeah, so it's just finished. So let's have a summary. The summary is that we started the holographic body quantum field theory and we started two cases. One is the pure EDS and the break hole. And the break hole with the part is, uh, so in the EDS case, we only have the uh, boundary effect from the boundary. But for the break hole case, we still also consider the uh, uh, horizon coming from the from break hole part. And, uh, and we calculate the holographic entangle HP in this case, and we draw this phase uh, diagram of, of this entangle uh, HP. I found out you have uh, two more new phases coming from boundary cases, and uh, for different A and, and sides of A, we have a uh, uh, different uh, phase, and between them, we have phase positions. And uh, we uh, modify this every key quality, and finally, we can uh, show this uh, uh, different between this. Uh, uh, the HD between and the AC is really good with the, 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 the entanglement. Uh, right. Okay, thank you. <coughs> is there any understanding that uh, when the Araki line inequality would become an equality in quantum information theory? Uh, no. Okay. What about in? The holographic, pic holographic picture. Is there some simple geometrical setup? Uh, yeah, simple, yeah, the simple geometrical setup is just because of uh, homology constraint. Yeah. Homology constraint makes sure that this one can be between the zero and the and, 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 and the small. Uh, Satisfying. Yeah. Not to satisfy. I mean equality. Not the equality. Equality. Why is it saturated? Well, the saturated is it's, uh, like a. The central part, uh, 
it's the the sum the sum part of two the two uh, diagram if uh, the the zoom is uh, if the zoom is uh, assigned together they would have satisfied if it's different zoom it's, it's, for example here it's always satisfied but here it's only a small part is satisfied because this part and this part is satisfied but uh, if a part with a different phase then that we try to prove it for for the new thing. Uh, yeah, probably that's the right idea. Yeah. <laughs> I have a question. Uh, so uh, between different phases, like uh, sunset, sky, the rainbow, there is a, a first order transition or? Uh, I think it's we talk about that. Uh, Yeah, in our in our question is also. Another question is, uh, I'm a bit confused about the definition for entanglement here. We talk about uh, it's introduce a black hole to have yeah. finite temperature, uh, but uh, is it entanglement usually be degraded or I mean decreased by turn on the temperature? In this case, do you see that effect, or your entropy is the summation of all these two? So, so I mean that usually the entanglement, if yeah. you, you, you have turn on temperature, will be destroyed or degraded by this uh, thermal randomness. That's right, yeah, yeah. So do we see this uh, effect here? Uh, actually, yes. If you see this one, you can, you can find that. Usually, if you do without this boundary, you have this um, inner surface. But this is the ZH, you will deprive this surface. Yeah. So this surface actually is getting down, so we have to minor something. Yeah. Okay, so any more questions? No, let's just thank uh, uh, two speakers in the morning. Thank you.